Martin Luther King once had a dream that one day we would live in a country that judged people not by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. But that day will not be today. <laughs> Let's play bullet wound, not a bullet wound. Okay, you and you, get your asses up here. All right, nice to see, what's your name? Marty. Mardine? Marty, M-A-R-T-Y. All right, take it easy, right. <laughs> Adrian. Adrian? Yes. All right. Whoop. All right, here's... <laughs> Have you seen the game before? Yes, sir. Okay, so you know how it works. Yes, sir. Okay? For people who don't know, each of you will look at a clip, and within a few seconds, you'll have to decide something about that person. Okay, we'll ask a question about that person. In this game, being politically correct is the incorrect way to go. Ah. Marty, yes. here is your first clip. Feast okay. your eyes on this young lady. My name's Liv, I'm from Las Vegas, a songwriter, part of the Hit Mechanic songwriting team. I'ma drive your Ford into the middle of the desert, set it on fire, bust the windows at your car with rocks. Are you wearing a weave? We're not asking you, Marty. Okay. We're asking this young lady in the clip. <laughs> okay. African-American woman, nice voice, weave, not a weave, Marty. Definitely a weave. <laughs> preach, sister, preach. <laughs> Let's see the tape. Dang, she got me. Yes. <laughs> You know what? And I used to wonder what Lamar Odom would look like with hair. <laughs> okay. Adrian, <laughs> take a real good look at this next young man, Adrian. Are you gay? Yes. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm actually unemployed. I'm in between jobs. Um, I just got laid off, so. Okay. Uh, but I do actually, I do, uh, I do model for adult entertainment. Have you ever had anonymous sex at a rest stop? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adrian. Uh, Unemployed say... porn model. <laughs> rest stop sex guy, not a rest stop sex guy. I'm gonna have to say not a rest stop sex guy. Not. Not. Let's see. At a rest stop. No, I can't say I've had an anonymous sex at this time. But he did tell us he will be adding that to his bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> Marty, take a look at this next person. How are you? How are you doing today? What's going on? I am excellent. I am actually here for the Seek Film Festival. Have you ever been to flight school? <laughs> okay, Marty. Flight school enthusiast, not a flight school enthusiast. He's about to sign up for flight school. You say yes? Yes. Yes, she says. Roll it. No, I have not. Um, always wanted to be a pilot, never got a chance. Come on, Marty. Everybody knows Sikhs aren't terrorists. They're cab drivers. Come on. <laughs> wow. You must have a car that's very dependable. Okay, Adrian, let's meet somebody else. Are you a Latina? That's right. Have you ever pretended you don't speak English? <laughs> All right, Adrian, fake no English, not faked English. Most definitely. She she's, has? She's faked English. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's fun. Really fun. All right, this is a good game, all right? Here's the last one for both of you. Here's an old friend of the show. If you haven't seen him before, here is a glimpse of his greatest hits. So your nickname's Madonna Mike. Yes. Madonna Mike, that's right. I'm all about the material girl. Have you ever used the N-word? Of course. 
Huh? I gotta be truthful. I have. Do you listen to rap music? No. Okay, and why? Because they don't understand their languages and we don't understand what they're saying. Did you vote for Barack Obama? <laughs> Madonna Mike, Obama supporter? I'm not an Obama supporter. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. <laughs> <laughs> you threw me off. <laughs> I'm going to say he's a hypocrite and he went with Obama. That he did? Yeah. So you say no, no, you say yes. Roll the tape. Yes, I did. <laughs> I really did that reaction because I voted for Barack Obama because Madonna voted for Barack Obama and I only voted what she voted. You see? Oh, oh, Obama Donna oh. supporter. You see, Madonna does have a positive influence on people. But I don't think you should adopt a black kid anytime soon. Okay, Adrian, you get dinner for two at the Mongreb Moroccan restaurant in Hollywood. I don't think that's how you pronounce it. It's, it looks like when you're driving on the street, it just looks like something that says Dharma and Greg Moroccan. And Marty, you get dinner or lunch for two at Porto's Cuban Bakery. Yeah! And thanks for playing Bullet Wound, not a Bullet Wound. <laughs>